Coolio. Uh, let me guess. It's so weak now. I can just throw shit at it. Huh? Huh? Yeah, boy. Time for funny help. Easy. Alright. Yeah, so I'll find the key here and then I'll help machine room. Get the elevator running. I'll get you. What's this? Our elevator machine instructions. Make sure the flow is set accordingly to the following chart. Trinity steam room set functions. Four phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Demir should read up A and down A. I gotta remember that. Up A and down A. What's this? Oh, it's floor rod cycle. Cool. Ah, uh, so we go to the study, learn about it, then build it. Smart lad. See, see what I mean? Like, the other chests look exactly like that. No, no. Alright, I think I just see some parker back the way. Or is there more here? Oh, I'm so like. No, I was trying to like clear the desk. Be all dramatic and shit. Anything else here? Making sure. Then again, it would uh, outline itself and like color. I'm gonna see this somewhere turn. This is what's going on. Oh, no, what's this? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind is not wasted. Uh, mankind, mankind is not even wasted our breath. Yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you and gained nothing in return. Agariba, I trusted you. It was who I. It was who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Oh, ah, oh, fuck, not, not, not bad. I have a habit to kind of spam the trigger. All right, I think that was all over here. Funny help too. Okay, don't wiggle that. Oh, again, there's more rooms. Yeah, guest room. Here we go. Just guarantee the keys in here. Because I don't think a uh, part for the elevator will be in there. Because that just seems kind of weird. Oh, it's a fancy ass guest room. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Oh, I fucking hate it when it does that. I haven't slept. I don't need bright lights in my face. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. The French. Damn it. I won't lie, I was trying to see if I could still listen to it while walking about. Alright, uh, wrong one. That's my health. Cut some bruises. Fuck, let's do it. Yeah, all good. Alright. The key will. Oh, crowbar. Nice. Well, I'm kind of enjoying the game. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly I could read. His account confuses me greatly. Hmm. Huh. Confused. Anything in here? 
This look like switches to me. Uh, Tundra? Yeah. How many have I got now? Ten. Nice. Alright, I've looted in here a while. Did I close this? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. What was just this room to check? Wrong one. I keep pressing square thinking it's R2. You know, to pick up things. Oh, no, I love it. Fuck that cockroach. I don't know where you're wrong. Broken lock. Yeah. I don't know where you're talking. Closet door in the guest room. Ah. I get you. No? Okay. Oh, crowbar. Duh. That's what you fucking give me it. Oh, it's a one-time use. The key. Please let it be here. I don't think it's here, because you know. Clearly didn't find it in that little flashback, is Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awake. Damn it, fuck this, it's not that time. How do I know when to leave? Close. Uh, Alright, so the key wasn't here. Oh. Aha! Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. But, but, but wait, a key. Oh, my bad, it's in. There you go. Nice. Well, I thought I'd be getting stuck a lot, but I'm doing not bad. Hope you guys are enjoying this little series, because I know I am. I'm not lie, I'm quite intrigued. I don't know why I'm going to call it here for this like first hour and a bit play sash. I'll probably continue the rest tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. All right, so machine. That was here, was it? No. No, oh, my bad. Study. It's through there. Through here. Alright, cool. What's this one? Alright. Making our way for the game. I have no idea how I've long actual game is. Might take advantage of loading screens and just like quickly google it but... Alright this place is creepy as fuck. Oh no I love it. It's gonna use up so long. 5th of July 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. 
As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. All right, cool. Just took advantage of that whole reading session and Googled it. Uh... Yeah, I'm... I... <laughs> Just complete brain fire. I'm not even going to bother to look at that. That's lights some of these bad boys up. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm really bad with them. So that's... One, four, five, four. So there's an eight then, so. Do that. No. So do that. That's four, so. So that's eight, eight down, eight up. There's no, there's no, there's no one want. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, so keep that. Let's go, let's go investigate like the rest of this area before I fuck around with that. I think that's what I was talking about when I read that thing, eight down, eight up. I need to place that valve thing I have as well somewhere. Or whatever it is. What is this for? Though there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator mission, make sure to only discard the ones that are badly damaged and keep the other ones in inner others in the inner study rooms. In case all of you crack again. So I at least got one from the sundering, so I think that saves me the trip. I don't need that. So do I place one in here? Nice. Alright, that takes it back. Okay, so it's up in there. So I need to get a triangle and a square. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Alright, cool. Alright, yeah, I gotta go deeper for uh, other two rods. of July 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. 